here and down, here and down. So what you'll see is I'm lifting up my big toe and I'm planting it here in this soft area underneath the chin. Ground reaction force, a force pushing. I push against my foot, the ground pushes back. When learning for this kick, it's best to keep it in flexion here and try to get stability in this point. So the function of this is that before you make the kick, you stabilize. Stabilize. So actually, when making the kick, we move through this pose, through this posture very quickly. So if my opponent is stood right in front of me, by opening the hip here, I give extra space for the leg to come up. Here. Here. Here under their chin. Hi and welcome back to Kalari Lab Online. Today we're going to look at a new fighting technique. This is called in Malayalam Ertere Ertenuki. Before we do that I'd like you all to hit the subscribe button and kick the notification bell. Great, so Ertere Ertenuki. This is how I think it's pronounced in Carolyn, uh, sorry, in Malaylam, so my apologies if the mispronunciation is there. Eratera Atanuki, what it means is uh, lift, hold the leg, and looking straight. Keep the head up, lift the leg up. So, what this technique is used for is close combat. So, if you're very close to someone and you don't have space to lift the leg with a straight leg, you will bend the leg. I'll show you the technique first of all. Arms are crossed. Here and down, here and down. So what you'll see is I'm lifting up my big toe and I'm planting it here in this soft area underneath the chin. Obviously it's a very sensitive place. Now this kick can also be aimed into the pelvis, but actually you make the same kick. So all of that upward force goes into the pelvis, very destructive. Now, when learning this kick, there are some preliminary stages that can help you to get the right action. The first is to realize cock posture here. So in cock posture we are externally or we are externally rotating the hip here. Lifting the foot up, lifting the toe up and you can keep the leg in extension or in flexion. When learning for this kick it's best to keep it in flexion here and try to get stability in this point. So the function of this is that before you make the kick, you stabilize. Stabilize. So actually, when making the kick, we move through this pose, through this posture very quickly. Let me show you once again. From here, here and down. Here and down. Now, the movement up, if I turn sideways, the movement up, if you watch down at my foot, I push my heel into the ground here. What that does is it builds a, re a ground reaction force, a force pushing. I push against my foot, the ground pushes back. Then it releases and I come up. When you come up, you want to try to follow this line along the shin to the knee. So if you watch from the front here, up to the knee into the ground, up to the knee. Then from the knee, we come into this posture, the cock. And then we throw the leg out into extension. So, one, two. One, two. One, two, kick. Keep the arms up. The arms are not completely to the front, halfway just want enough space in between so you can see through and not so close that if they were hit it would hit me in the face a bit further so if they are hit I have protection so the arms are in front this will help with your balancing push the heel kick and down kick and down so what you'll see is I'm able to bring the foot up very high without um, without going far forward. So if my opponent is stood right in front of me, by opening the hip here, I give extra space for the leg to come up. Here. 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 Straight 
straight under their chin, yeah? Very destructive technique. Please don't practice this on anyone, okay? This is going to cause severe um, harm to your opponent, okay? And we never want to cause harm because then we have to deal with the karma, right? So there's no need to cause anyone harm. But this is an excellent exercise for mobility in the hip. And it's used in the Shakti form here to bring us forward. So the weight, you bring the weight back and then again forward. Keep the arms up. Here. Push. Down. Weight comes back. Weight forward. Heel up to the knee. Heel up to the knee. Release. Down. Release. Down. Release. Down. Good. Now, this is what you're trying to get with the foot. Internally, sorry, invert the ankle. Lift your big toe trying to plant it, as I said, here, underneath the chin, in this soft part beneath the jaw. Down. Down. Good. Excellent. Okay, I hope that was useful to you. Please stay tuned and we'll keep working once a week on these fighting applications of Kaladi Pait. Until next time, Nalikanam.